You better start drinking some water. Yeah, so this is going to be a first time um, on the show ever. <laughs> ever. Of the four Does years anybody... I've been on the show. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> no one's doing sports radio like we're doing sports radio. I mean, we can do a lot of things here. Should we have a camera in the bathroom? We might have to. So we have a little bit of a bit of a situation going on um, live right now. It's a code yellow, as we're going to call it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and, and basically, as people may or may not know, um, I have a UFC fight coming up. It'll be in April. I'll, hopefully, I'll announce it this week sometime. We'll no, it's get about that. damn time. It's about damn time. But um, part of being a UFC fighter is you get randomly drug tested. And uh, the drug testing person went to my house. Obviously, I wasn't there. I got a show to do. Um, saw that he called me, so I called him during the break. Uh, hey, you know, I'm here to collect your sample. I'm like, well, you got to collect it at... Um, you know, the, the, the Bretton Austin Studios because <laughs> I can't come home right now, man. We're talking free agency. Numbers are good. Can't leave what I'm doing. So he's going to be coming here, <laughs> and he's going to be sitting his butt in the corner, and then when I have to go, I'll go. So you have like – what's he got, like an hour once they, once they – So the way that it works is when they go to your house, and if you don't – if you're not there, right, um, they call you. You have one hour to respond. If you don't respond, that's a failed test. Really? So thankfully, even though the ringer's off, I saw that somebody called me, called them back right away. So yeah, so basically we have like an hour, hour and a half to get this whole thing done. Um, I went to the bathroom like 10 minutes ago, not off to a good start, but <laughs> I have plenty of water here, Brent. Uh, and hopefully in, in the next 20 minutes, I should be good to go. Again. That can be a tough spot for men now, peeing on demand. It's yeah. a tricky thing. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, hey, if he wants to come on the show, let's get him on the show as well. And just Because you know what I want to ask him? <laughs> What made you want to do, you know, this profession? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think everyone's dying to know. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Did you fall into this? Yeah. I mean, as a kid, was it just an, an, an ambition? <laughs> Are you getting paid well? Yeah. We'll see. So, okay. So what happens if you don't answer and you don't have like ring doorbell or whatever you yeah, got yeah. And, and you don't see it and you're out at work like. So, you are, like you legitimately are, yeah. and you get a failed test, so what does that mean? So, yeah, if I don't respond in an hour, that's a failed test. You essentially get three failed tests per year. Um, well, I don't want to say failed test. It was a missed test, oh, right? Oh, a failed a test first. would be, you know, obviously if I was taking steroids or some kind of street drugs, um, I pop for that. Then that's a failed test. This is considered a missed test. But if you have three, you get three strikes in one year for missed tests. You get three strikes, then you're sitting like, Okay. So, yeah. Um, we're sure Cushman was not your burner account, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully, with, with, with Cush, it's okay to do. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah. It's, so just, what it's, is, it's like the NFL. So, okay. So, they have similar guidelines to the NFL Correct. now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, newer NFL guidelines. Obviously, marijuana was Well, yeah, exactly. Newer like ones. Five, when you played, it was different. Yeah, test. you could do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, this is basically, this is testing for, you know, performance-enhancing drugs. Even more stringent, though, than the NFL does, I think. Right? Really? Because um, so they used to use this USADA, which is like what the, they use for Olympics and everything. Now they're transitioning away from USADA, but it's still a pretty strict drug test. Which yeah. I get, uh, is that appreciated in the circles? Well, yeah. I mean, if I'm going to fight somebody, yeah. I want to make sure like, they don't have a you know, head of advantage in terms of something in the body that's going to make them stronger yeah. or give them better cardio. You did, know? You take, did you take a lot of – was it uh, frequent in the NFL drug testing for you? Not really. It's, um, it's very random. I know. It's, well, it's – if you if you have a good game like the, the game the good games that I've had, <laughs> oh what's this? Some guys you Zach to... Drew Brees? Yeah, exactly. Who cares what hey, he said to you? S- step into my office here. Let's see, let's, let's see a sample. No, that is true though. Like that's oh, what we it's... hear about it though. Yeah. I think I think that's why it's a little skewed. It's like guy kicks a fifty eight yard field goal, kicker gets a drug test like yeah, right yeah, after yeah. the game. Yeah. I mean they actually have them waiting for you. It's got to be predetermined a bit, right? Because they have yeah. waiting for you. Like there's a sign in the locker when you get back. Correct. When the clock strikes zero. Correct. Yeah. Random my butt. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, so well, it, yeah, I so don't. We're gonna feel have a like, guest in here in a little bit. I don't. I don't feel like uh, we see guys popped as much anymore. But we do have examples of it again, like uh, Cam Robinson was most recent uh, for the Jacksonville Jaguars. So, uh, all right, good luck on your test. Uh, Appreciate speaking it. Of, all right, I mean, come on, that was the longest drug test ever. <laughs> all right what was the problem they like take right. us through it give us play by play i mean there's definitely some problems um so it was a blood and dr- okay so it was blood and uh, a urine test so start out with with the blood test i figured you know buy some more time uh when it comes to the urine filling up my bladder um this was unexpected 
you know, kind of came out of the blue. I got a sports show to do. So, all right, go blood test first. Um, they stick me. No blood was coming out. So that was an issue. Yeah. So di didn't go deep enough, obviously, into oh. this, you know, titanium-like shoulder bicep um, that I had. So he had to stick me again on the other arm. Got the sample. That was great. Now it comes, you know, now comes the time to perform, right? And obviously, once again, people got to take into account. This was out of the blue, right? I already went to the bathroom 10 minutes prior to the guy showing up. So I was definitely behind the eight ball a little bit. But um, thankfully, there's a fan in there. I ran the sink a little bit for some extra ambiance. <laughs> <you know? laughs> and, um, and Does and, the sink test yeah. work? And, and it, oh, it works, man. So he said, are you ready? I go, I think so. Um, and it was my time to shine. I'm happy to report. <laughs> Filled the cup and then some. Had to set the cup down. Finish my business. Um, but overall, great, man. I mean, you know, they say the the gravity of it was good because they, they test the gravity, right? They test the gravity. The gravity was good. Um, <laughs> it wasn't too dilated or like, you know, like um, clear because sometimes when it's clear, that can mask a sample. And you have uh, to redo it again. Yeah. So thankfully, I kind of had that nice. I don't want to say it was like a, a lemon, but, you know, like a <laughs> like a nice uh, like a nice lemon shake. You know, like if you go to, a, I don't know, like a shake. Like, shake? Like, are we like talking, are we talking, are we talking crystal light or Mountain Dew? No, I'm talking like the color of it. You know, like when <laughs> no, you mix it with ice cream. Yeah. It wasn't crystal light. That's way too, it's not neon. Austin, what the heck is a lemon <laughs> shake? Like a so, lemon shake, like a lemon ice cream. Mix it up a little bit, a little white, a little yellow. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. It's, and a, a nice... Yellow eggshell <laughs> color. I was proud. Hey, hey, I was proud of that color. All right, <laughs> I, I was one and done. So I had to do that. But the long part came from inputting my, my supplements, uh, because the guy's like, "Do you want me to do it, or do you want to do it?" I'm like, "Well, you fast." He's like, "No, I'm very slow at this." I'm like, oh, "Yeah, just give it to me." Then. So then I, I took over the the iPad and I had to put supplements in that I take that the UFC sends me. Well, spoiler alert: twelve supplements I had to put in. So that took a little bit of time. So what's the time on that? It's like that's what I told the Hamby. I said this is oh, we gave you 15 minutes at 10:54, oh, oh, yeah, and I was, was like was over. He said under. He gave yeah. me like two minutes in the early going. No, I mean if it was up to me just to to pee, then yeah, I, I mean I would have been. I was ready to roll. You know, like I said, the, the faucet was running, the fan was going. I was ready for that. It's just it's the the signatures and all this other totally. stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was saying just spelling the supplement words yeah. might be tough. The and translation. Well, with all due apologies to uh, some of our, our great news folks here at Action News, Jack, someone was trying to open the door like 10 times. It was locked. So i uh, <laughs> not sure if that was somebody from the noon <laughs> cast that really had to go. But uh, sorry, man, you weren't getting in. Yeah, <laughs> so, you, were, you, cry, you owned that bathroom. Oh, that, that was my bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bathroom. I, I, I had a job to do. Now, does he have to be in there with you? Oh, yeah. 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 There's no cheating here. No, there's no cheating. Um, yeah, so, I mean, obviously, they, they have to watch what you do and everything, and um, that's uncomfortable. But once again, the faucet was running, and I think that was, you know, I mean. That was the key. I don't want to call it MVP out. You know what I mean? It was, just, it was one session, but so far going into the season of, of drug testing, that faucet running was definitely the MVP of the, the whole show. Was the MVP. <laughs>